All right, so I had to do this a second time because the first time I tried to record it, I didn't explain it the way I exactly wanted to. So this is another random thought, just simply a random thought, right? This is about <clears throat> beef, gang banging. I'm really getting into it this time because the first time I really didn't. First and foremost, people have to understand the history of gang banging and most people do not. This was about a cluster of individuals with the same cause. This is all across the globe, whether you're talking about, you know, Bloods, Cribs, Latin Kings, Niet Dies, people over in the Lou in Chicago, wherever, wherever there's gangs, it was originated as a cluster of individuals with the same cause. It had nothing to do with us beefing, beefing with each other at all it was about us protecting our community from imposters you know people that were trying to harm our children women family community concept of reality so on and so forth in that there's a togetherness and in that togetherness there's always gonna be an individual or always has been an individual according to history that's been able to be bought, persuaded, manipulated, and infiltrated these groups. When the groups are infiltrated, they end up going against each other. So I'm going to talk about, let's say where I'm from. Let's just use this as an example. I'm not saying this is fact. This is an example. Example. You got Harlem, the Bronx, Brooklyn, Queens, Staten Island. There's gangs there. Their job, there was gangs there. It's probably still gangs there. Their job is to protect their community. Period. The problem with gang banging is people get into it for various reasons other than what they're supposed to get into it for. If you really getting into it, then you're going to study the rules. You're going to study the laws. You're going to study, you know, the foundation, how it started, who started it, when it started, what time did it start in, what region did it start in, where did it come from, where did the concept come from. People do not do that. People just start gangbanging based off of silly ass shit that don't make no sense, right? Oh, I'm gangbanging because I need protection. I'm gangbanging because I'm mad at this individual and I need these individuals to help me get at this individual. That's not what this was supposed to be about. And this is where people get it twisted. Now, you know, just, you know, from my area. Even, you know, in my area where I'm from, we had Land Kings, Nietas, you had Bloods, Crips, you had Renegade sets, all kinds of shenanigans was going on, right? How did that come about? When technically we all in the same damn, we all in the same damn community in real life. So with that being said, you know, it starts this cycle of I'm going to come at you because you came at me. People have to start really digging into the situation, like dig into the situation. Why are we beefing? How in the hell did we get? To a point where we beefing with each other. How I look like you, but I'm beefing with you. How did that happen in real life? People do not seem to grasp or understand gangbanging at all. Because they, most people are getting into it because it's a fad or, you know, because it's, you know, it's common in the area or for protection or something like that. No cause, no history, no rules, no regulations, none of that. No founding fathers, no none of that. Like, that shit just gets totally dismissed. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, when I was growing up, beefing, you know, it entailed not saying nothing. You beefing is movement. That's it. It's nothing to talk about. And, you know... Those who was really, those who was really with it, they didn't even talk amongst their own circle. They just went out and handled their business in real life. 
The problem is handling the business amongst your own people. That did that wasn't supposed to happen. I don't know how that developed outside of infiltration and manipulation and, and pitting one group of individuals that's like next door to one in, a group of individuals against another. In in the beginning in Gang Banging there was power because there was a group of individuals who had the same cause and they stood on it and was willing to die for it. That was the cause. There's a difference between standing on a cause and standing on, you know, animosity. If everybody decided to just, you know, to fall back and say, how did we start beefing, like really get into the history? How did we start beefing? How did this one come against this one to even begin with? How did it ever even start? The shit would cease. And it would be back to community. It would literally cease and stop. Because when you get into it and you really get into the history of it, you're going to realize that there was an imposter and they did not look like you. They didn't look like you. They were scared of your power, your ability, your strength, your ability to come together, your ability to build, your ability to protect. That's what you're going to realize. And then you're going to realize that you was beefing against, you know, you beefing against people that look like you. That's not supposed to happen. That's not what it was supposed to be. That's not what it was built for. That's not what it was about. And that's why either it needs to cease or people need to be brought back to square A where history and foundation is mandatory. When I was wrong, there was ranks. And those ranks was based upon the amount of knowledge that you had in reference to, you know, your set or your gang or so on and so forth. There was rules and regulations to this shit. You didn't get to the next set because you sat here and beat a motherfucker up or you shot at a motherfucker or you ran a motherfucker over. That's not how that, no, that's not how that worked. It, it's just simply not how it worked. You had to study. There was things you had to study. You had to study the history. You had to study the foundation. You had to study how to speak. You had to study how to stack. You had to study. These are things that had to happen. I don't understand how this, how it gets so far out of control that we start beating each other up. That we fighting each other. And within that, we creating static within our own community. We not even protecting our community no more because now we become the reckless within our own community. And this is why this shit needs to stop or basic rules foundation and history should be mandatory and it hasn't been for a long time obviously because if it was a lot of the shenanigans that take place wouldn't even be taking place is the difference between doing this for a cause and doing it for retaliation and even in retaliation, you're doing it against the wrong group of individuals anyway because you don't know the history. You don't know the foundation. You don't know how it got started and so on and so forth and blah, blah, and blase and blase. That's all I'm trying to say. And how do you know? Because founding fathers in all of these, whether you, you know, what do they call it? Ops, opposition, whatever. Even they moved in silence and even they studied and made sense of who was actually a threat and who was not period this is the thing that boggles the hell out of me with the whole entire gang culture the whole entire literal gang culture has lost sight of why the hell they were in place to begin with. Period. To begin with, you were in place because you had founding fathers that were trying to protect their communities from imposters that were trying to fuck you up. In other words, putting you on welfare. In other words, making you impoverished. 
in other words, you know, making households without men. That's what it was all the hell about. I don't know how it got all lost in the sauce. It literally got lost. And people need to go find it so that they can stop coming at each other. People literally need to go find it. Because it will alleviate a whole lot and make people have to really reflect on, like, what are we doing this for? Like, how did this all get started? Where did the beef get started? You know, and even back in the day, if you really get into the history of it all, you know, um, in gang banging, it was always about, you know, togetherness and you know trying to get rid of the imposter or the person that was able to be manipulated you know against the group but nobody ever thought to try to get rid of the individual that manipulated the individual against the group to begin with and this is where thinking was necessary it was organization there was rules it was regulations there was foundations there was ranks it was all of that involved and it somehow got lost. And I don't know where it's at, but niggas need to find it. Excuse my language. They need to go locate it. Because most people was out here banging because it's a fad. Because it's popular. Because they think it's cute. And I'm not even being funny. You know, there was two types of females in the group of banging. There was the types, you know, and it's, I don't even know it's the, you know, I'm not even going to say it's the masculine and feminine energy. But in all realness, there was two types. There was ones that was going to get with the business. They were going to get their ass whooped. And then it was the other ones that was going to get screwed into the situation. Right? Not saying... Anything wrong. I'm not judging. I'm not passing judgment. But those that was real. Females that was real. They wasn't even throwing it up. They wasn't saluting you. They wasn't even acknowledging you. If you got screwed in. Because you wasn't willing to get your ass whipped. By. You know. You wasn't willing to take that pain. You chose you know, the route of just being violated. If you think on it, think about this on a spiritual level or an energetic level, you know, that group of females that was willing to get their ass whipped. Probably stronger. Probably stronger. The ones that was willing to get, you know, violated into the situation. Probably a no-no. Means you probably not gonna put in no work. You're not gonna you not you not standing on the cause. You just need some protection. Period. I'm just looking at this, you know, from <clears throat> from from a, a different type of perspective. I don't know and I'm not sure if this still goes down that way. You know, Things get mixed into it. Money, status, all of these things get mixed into something that actually had a firm foundation, had an actual purpose, and a purpose got lost all across the states. It simply just got lost. And so it's time for y'all to find it so that y'all can stop beating each other up. Period. In all actuality, y'all really don't have no beef with each other. Y'all have animosity and anger, regret and frustration, aggravation with each other. But y'all really don't have no beef. The beef is not really with each other. It's a little bit deeper than that. And so when y'all get into the history and how it started, who started it, what was their cause, what was their purpose, who got caught, you know, slipping against the group, then y'all could kind of come to an understanding that it's still, it's still not beef between y'all. 
You have to learn to go to the source. And in order to go to the source, you have to understand how it all started. Most people out here doing this, if you ask them the history of how it got started, they don't know. They're just saying that because the name is popular. The name of the set or the name of the game is popular. It's common. It's protection. They don't even know what the hell they're being protected from. Or who. Because they don't know how the shit got started. And that's the shit that be bothering my mind. But anyway, it's just another one of these MBT Sky Random Thoughts. I'll see y'all later because I'm about to hop on the other channel. Deuces.